I've signed 11,000 letters, and uh, this is the most recent one. It's signed July 3rd, 2018, to honor Staff Sergeant Alexander W. Conrad, who so bravely served his country. I humbly share a quote from a man who eloquently articulated the legacy that our fallen heroes have left behind. He stands in the unbroken line of patriots who have dared to die, that freedom might live and grow and increase its blessings. Freedom lives and through it he lives in a way that humbles the undertakings of most men. Franklin D. Roosevelt, may the peace of Christ be with you and your family. And then I sign. I've really been somewhat embarrassed, to be honest with you, because I made the mistake of voting to send their son and daughter to die for this country. So my retribution to my God was to send the letters. So from my letters since 2004, I get letters back from the families thanking me for my condolence, love. And it really makes me feel guilty that they wrote me back uh, because I should never have sent their child uh, to the war. Let the Afghans try to work it out. If you want to have some of the other countries to sit in on the negotiation, that's fine too. But for goodness sakes, don't think that you're going to change Afghanistan militarily because history has proven it's not going to happen. I don't think you will ever make the major changes that need to be made unless you start reducing the size of the American military. Give the Taliban their leadership, give Gandhi and his leadership a chance to negotiate. If that can't happen, then try. Because I don't think America can dictate uh, in a foreign country, and especially in Afghanistan. Um, to me, you can have diplomatic influence if you remove your military presence and give the Afghans a chance to negotiate. I don't think you can do it as long as you've got troops in uniform uh, walking around Kabul and these other parts of the country.